This is a demonstration video of the installation of a TamboTech door. TamboTech provide a warranty against defects and workmanship, but only if the Tambor door is correctly and competently installed by a certified tradesperson. This presentation will show you how to achieve the perfect installation. Step 1. Carefully unwrap the TamboTech door package. Do not use any kind of blade along the length of the package until you've opened each end. Depending on the size and type of door, there may be more than one package. Remove hardware from the timbre roll. Step 2. All screws for brackets, handle, pelmet and side tracks are supplied in individually marked plastic bags. Step 3. Using the wrapping, re-wrap the door. This is to protect the door from possible damage and to make sure dust and particles don't enter between the slats. This is very important. The timbre will not hang straight if there is rubbish between the slats. Step 4. The brackets are a two-piece system and because of the new integrated feeder guides are left and right-handed. Screw fix the top section of each bracket flush to the carcass top and flush to the gable edge. Use the adjustable screw slot first. Tap into final position and fit remaining screws. Screw fix the bottom sections of the brackets. Ensure that each is firmly nested on the top section. If you wish to screw fix the top section of the pelmet surround, the pelmet has to be fitted and fixed before the roller door is fitted. This is why the bracket is supplied in two pieces. Now there are three methods of supply in fixing the pelmet surrounds. Method A. One piece pelmet surround. Not supplied by Tambotech. This is the traditional pelmet surround routed from one piece of board. Step 5. Slide the specially designed aluminium angle into position on top of the brackets. Don't fix at this stage. Step 6. Slip the aluminium side tracks onto the locator tabs of the brackets. Ensure track is flush with the front edge of the gable, then screw fix. Step 7. Using the screws provided, screw fix the top aluminium angle. Then, using the black screws provided, fit your one-piece pelmet surround. Method B. Three-piece pelmet surround, not supplied by Tambotech. Make it yourself to the clearances that suit you. Three separate pieces. Step 5. Slide the specially designed aluminium angle into position on top of the brackets. Don't fix at this stage. Step 6. Slip the aluminium side tracks onto the locator tabs of the brackets. Ensure track is flush with the front edge of the gable, then screw fix. Step 7. Using the screws provided, screw fix the top aluminium angle. Then, using the black screws provided, fit your three-piece pelmets around. Method C. The Tambotech three-piece pelmet system. Step 5. Slide the specially designed aluminium angle pre-fitted with top pelmet into position on top of the brackets. Don't fix at this stage. Step 6. Slip the aluminium side tracks pre-fitted with the side pelmets onto the locator tabs of the brackets. Ensure track is flush with the front edge of the gable, then screw fix. Step 7. Align the top horizontal section of the three-piece pelmets around to an even gap each side. Then, screw fix the aluminium angle to the carcass top. Step 8. Remove lower section of one of the brackets and place front roller into roller slots. Refix lower section of the bracket. The roller must spin freely. Step 9. Unwrap the Tambotech door. Make sure no dust or particles enter between the slats and from behind the brackets, place the door into the bracket slots. Apply pressure to the pin end of the timbre to click into bracket. If the cupboard is too narrow, remove one side of the pelmet surround and then refit when the door is in place.
Step 10. Tension the spring by rotating the timbre in the direction indicated on the instructions towards the front of the opening with the number of turns written on the instructions. Step 11. While maintaining the tension of the spring, carefully unroll the timbre over the front roller and feed into the aluminium side tracks. The feeder guides on the brackets will point the first slat into the track. Step 12. Pull the timbre down to the closed position and inspect the timbre door. Are there any gaps or lines in the face of the timbre? If so, there is rubbish between the slats. Uninstall the timbre door, remove the rubbish, then reinstall. Step 13. Fit the handle and backplate. Test for correct tension and, if required, adjust the number of turns on the spring by removing the handle and backplate and either increase or decrease the number of turns. Refix the handle and backplate. You have completed the installation.